I'm a man of unclean lips, and I live among a people of unclean lips, and my eyes have seen the King, the Lord Almighty. Woe is me, I'm going to die, because I've seen the Lord, his holiness, his presence, his power. Who did Isaiah see? No one can see God. Who did the elders of Israel see? No one can see God. Who did Jacob see? No one could see God. Who did Abraham see? No one can see God. Yet they all saw him. If Yahweh could appear in a physical form and walk among us on the earth, whether it was for two minutes or ten minutes, or two hours or ten hours, if he could do that while remaining God in heaven then a fundamental objection to the incarnation has just been overcome. A fundamental objection that, that God could not live among us in the person of his son. If he could live among us for hours, he could live among us for years. While still remaining the unseen, invisible, eternal God in heaven. Let me just read to you from the beginning of Hebrews 1. In the past... God spoke to our forefathers through the prophets at many times and in various ways. But in these last days, he has spoken to us by his son, whom he appointed heir of all things and through whom he made the universe. The son is the radiance of God's glory and the exact representation of his being, sustaining all things by his powerful word. And the son, according to Hebrews 1.7, 1.8, himself is God. 